Hey everybody, what's going on? Jerome here, and welcome back to another awesome episode of Pixelmon Island! And before we get right on into this episode, explaining a couple things. The first is, why didn't I live stream yesterday? Well, if you don't know already, I'm in Anaheim right now at the PAC Live event. So I'm actually live meeting fans throughout the entire day. I did it in about nine hours yesterday. Same thing going on today as well. So it's been extremely busy for myself and all the PAC. And unfortunately, when I got back to my hotel room to live stream, the internet here wasn't good enough to do so. So it's said we had two videos go up. Same thing as this one. I'm actually recording this one right now as we speak. And, and, and the thing is that if you look behind me, as you can tell, I'm in a hotel room. So I'm recording my video right now from a hotel room. It's unfortunately all I could do because the live streaming doesn't work. And now here's the other question as well you might have. We did run into a few complications that I'm pretty sad about. I'm not going to lie. So pretty much on camera, about 10 minutes ago, we recorded. We ended up losing the audio footage. But uh, during that time frame, I managed to catch for myself a Typhlosion, which Pokedab is absolutely awesome, and I also leveled up my Croc on a level 42. Unfortunately, same thing in that same, like, crash or whatever you call it, it was right when Feraligator was evolving. So I didn't get Feraligator. So I have to level up Croconaw one more time, so at least you'll get to see the Feraligator. But we do have a Typhlosion now, which I'm very, very happy about. Uh, and in the meantime, we can go ahead and try catch one of these Pupitars, because let's be honest here, we don't have to level up one of the Larvitars all the way up, because that's going to take, like, forever and a day. So I, I'm uh, guessing this might be one of the smartest choices that we have. So I'm going to go ahead and try and catch one of these Larvitars here. And let's use our purple booty friend here here you go hypnosis wait hypnosis did it miss or oh, okay just missed i thought it didn't actually hit him i was like what can can hypnosis not hit him is he is he immune to psychic type moves but anyway everybody if you're excited because tomorrow i'll be back home in new jersey live streaming then be sure to click that like button it's gonna be super super awesome i cannot wait to get back to live streaming as great as it is meeting fans it's also great getting to talk to fans online live streaming so I want to get back to live streaming as soon as possible. You guys are my friends. But if you're still supportive of the Baka and the fact that unfortunately he might not always be able to live stream, then just click that like button and let me know you guys are there for me. And I'm always there for you guys as well. Oh man. So in today's episode, we got a pretty fun one. We're going to go ahead, as I said before, get that for Alligator. And then we're going to go around looking for some new Pokemon. I would love to find a Hound Hour and Hound Doom as it becomes nighttime slowly but surely uh, at the moment. So hopefully we can go ahead and find one of those off in the desert somewhere. That'd be super super cool and, and actually hopefully we'll be able to get both and then from there we can just keep on catching new pokemon having a fun time while we do it and just doing our normal baka thing oh no here we go come on catch the peep tar yes there we go pokedab so now instead of having to get a laratar all the way up from level i think i think it's like 20 or so all the way up to level 55 to get a tyranitar now we have a pupitar level 47 and it makes our lives a lot easier because getting someone from 47 to 55 isn't the hardest task in the world so that's always good also if there is any lag like there is right now please just don't mind it or ignore it it's literally just because unfortunately the internet connection i have is absolutely atrocious like this is the best i can do believe me i I wanted to live stream so bad yesterday. I tried. I couldn't do it. And I'm barely able to even able to record these videos like right now. Like this is this is insane. So actually, you know, I just realized we don't lag whenever we run. It seems like it's only when we fly. That's the weirdest thing. And then also another weird update as well. I don't know if it's like a permanent thing or, or what, what's going on exactly. But when I go to breed some of my Pokemon, it seems like they might have temporarily removed slash breed until they find a fix for it. Because I'm pretty sure they, 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 they're they on to me and my, my crazy breeding ways. So let's see. No, it worked this time. Never mind. It just wasn't working earlier. So there we go. Now I believe we do a little recap of our Pokedex. I think we have a Cyndaquil in there now. Hopefully. Let's see. Boom, we got Cyndaquil, Typhlosion, all we have to do is hatch that egg to get a Quilava, uh, then we need a Feraligator right there. Take a look at that though, we, in terms of the new Pokedex, there's only like 100 new Pokemon in Gen 2, and I would say we at least have one third of them, I mean looking through that list, we did a crazy job the other day. Uh, and it's only going to get better from there. Uh, as we said a uh, couple episodes, or last episode, sorry, so a couple days ago, Speedy offered to give us his uh, his Jinx so we can go ahead and get a Smoochum. And then we also have one other Pokemon that we can breed as well to get a Baby-type Pokemon. So pretty cool stuff, pretty cool stuff. Hopefully we'll be able to find something. But anyway, we're here in the desert right now, and we got to look out for a Hound Dower. I'm not sure. Wait a minute. Is that that's a Macargo? We don't have one of those either. Uh, hey, hey there, Mr. McCargo. 
Hey there, Mr. Picargo. Don't mind me. I'm just going to try and catch you so that we don't have to evolve a Slugma all the way into a Macargo. This is very convenient because I thought we could only get Slugma by do using Rock Smash, but apparently they exist out here in the real world. There we go. Let's, let's just keep on hitting them hard then. Come on. You got to do a little more damage than that, Typhlosion. There's got to be something you can do here. Oh my gosh. Not Tackle, not Gyro Ball, not Flame Wheel. All of them are not very effective. What? What is effective besides water to Macargo? Jeez. This Macargo does not want to go down. Can I at least get you to the yellow before you make me faint? Oh my gosh, this is going to be harder than I thought it would. Yeah, there we go. We got him to yellow. Perfect. Now we can use PB and J. Use the Hypnosis. Come on, let's catch another Pokemon. Oh, this is going to be so sick if we're able to catch two brand new Pokemon already like this. Like, just, like just, just right off the bat of the episode, too. I mean, come on. And also, I guess if you count Typhlosion, that's three. And Cyndaquil as well, so that's four. Never mind then, actually. We've been having a very rapid-fire episode. In, like, five minutes, we've gotten, like, four new Pokemon in the Pokedex. So, I guess, all in all, I really can't exactly complain. Oh, come on, Great Ball. Stick the landing, buddy. Stick the landing. Oh, man. I'm also going to be looking right now to make sure and see where Houndour spawn. Oh, we caught him. We caught him. Now, I think Houndour only spawns in the desert at night, but I'm not sure about that. So, I do want to look it up super quick. Houndour Pixel... Mon. All right, let's see real quick if Houndour spawns anywhere else. I feel like I have a Pokedex in my head. It's really just a cell phone, but I feel like it's like a Pokedex. I'm like looking up different Pokemon things. So let's see. Houndour and Pixelmon. And by the way, completely forgot. Pokedab. We caught them a cargo. We did it, everybody. We're special now. Okay, so it looks like as it's loading up now, we'll be able to see in one second where exactly. I hope it's not Desert Hills, because as far as I know, we still don't have that biome, which is essential to catching Pokemon like Unknown. So I'm very sad if, if, if that doesn't exist exactly. All right, let's see. Get, don't get out of the way, Graveler. All right, so Houndour on Pixelmon. It appears like he only spawns at night in Desert Hills. No way. Oh, that's so sad. Or in Mesas, but... Both of those we don't have on the server unless they start expanding the world region, which they have talked about doing, but unless they do that, we're not going to be able to catch them for a while. Oh, that's so sad. I really like that Pokemon. He's super cool. Aww. Mm, making the slurping Baka so sad because he doesn't be, he's not able to get the Pokemons that he wanted. That's okay, though. So let's put Typhlosion away. Because we don't exactly need him anymore. Let's get that Croconaw. And now we'll be able to focus a little bit on getting Croconaw all the way up. One more level to a Feraligator. Let's see. So we'll go to spawn here. And let's just look out for any Pokemon at all. That would be pretty good for us to have. So, or, or pretty good to fight against. My guess is a Pupitar is probably one of the best ones. Because he's in the high level 40s usually when you find him. Uh, which means, well, I mean, it means that it's going to be a very easy evolution if we take care of it. So let's go put Ditto away right there. And then let's put a... Where is it? Where? Where's a Magmar? Where does he one Magmar to start? There we go. Just to speed up the whole egg hatching process. Yeah, that's beautiful. Gorgeous, I say. Gorgeous. And hopefully they add a new gym soon as well. They've been talking about it for a short time now. Hopefully they pull through on that because it'll be pretty awesome once we're able to get that. Um, Croconaw, do you want to try and fight one of these on your own? I know he's not... Oh my gosh. I just realized my Croconaw does not know any water type. How did I let that happen? He only knows, like, Crunch and other... Okay, I mean, it's not bad, but it's also very bad. I mean, he's, he's a water dark, so I guess I guess having crunch isn't a, ba a bad, bad thing. But it's still kind of like, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I kind of wish he also had some water-type moves, obviously. But at the same time, we're never going to use him again, even when he becomes a alligator. So I guess it's not that big of a deal. Hi, Shuckle. Do you mind if I just go ahead and, and defeat you super quick, just for a quick couple levels, or a quick one level? Oh, a choke level 34. Don't mind if I do. Here we go. Oh, Crunch barely does anything to you. Okay, what about... What about Slash? Oh, now Slash is more his speed, apparently. There we go. He's getting there. He's learning. Slowly but surely. All right, let's throw out Dondo Knight then. Because apparently Croconaw's almost going to faint. There we go. Took him out. Anyone else? Any Pupitaws around that can give us some quick and easy levels? Probably not. Ooh, there's a there's a couple trainers over there. Or mover learners. I don't really know. If they're trainers, then perfect. That's going to be exactly what we need to evolve our Pokemon. Uh, if not, then that's fine. We'll just find a couple more and, and beat them that way. The old-fashioned way. Okay, please be trainers. Please be trainers. Move tutor. Move tutor, move tutor, move tutor. Don't tell me all five of these are move tutor. Level 10. Okay, so they aren't all move tutors, but the one that isn't was level 10, and that doesn't really help any situation. Uh, okay, Gloom. Come on, Gloom. I know you want to fight. 
I know you want to fight. There we go. He, does, he doesn't he doesn't actually want to fight. I just wanted the XP. The Baka just wanted some XP. You can't blame me, though, for it. And oh my... Oh, that's a Pidgey. I thought that was, like, the smallest Furret on the face of the Earth. I was like, no way. Is that Furret? I'm gonna lose it if that's Furret. That'd be so cute. That'd be so, so cute. Oh, okay, level 38. Or 33, sorry. Come on, please be enough. Yes, Croconaw. Yes! Finally, our good buddy Croconaw is evolving. Yeah, boy, Pokedabs. Come on, give us a for alligator. And remember, everybody, if you're supportive of the Baka and the fact that unfortunately you can't stream this weekend, but I'll be right back streaming with you on Monday, then click that like button. I literally cannot wait to be back at it. So please be sure to show your love and support. That's going to be a lot of fun. But either way, we just did it, everybody. We got for alligator for ourselves. Something that I, I'm just amazed. I mean, I if you told me we'd be this far on day two of Gen 2, I would, I would probably not. Not believe you because that's that's just kind of a little bit crazy but either way we do have some cool pokemon here we, oh, oh hey alex what's up man hello alex no alex stop nasty alex is being nasty right now uh so where are all the pokemon we need to evolve oh bar okay uh Oh, that was Dondo. Tootie and Dondo are out here in Anaheim with me. They keep trolling me whenever I'm live streaming. All right, well, we do have Mareep. We could start to evolve him in a Chief Amp. Now, this isn't going to be the Chief Amp that we use because we do want to get, like, the perfect EV, IV, and natured Mareep before we go ahead and make the perfect Chief Ampharos. But, uh, you know, we're still going to go ahead and try and get one. Uh, so this will be a good little test for us, I guess, just to see how quickly we can grab him. He evolves very quickly as well, which is always nice. But let's see. Mareep. Oh, Mareep, where are- there you go, okay, so we don't have a Flaffy, I was just making sure, for some reason in my head, I thought we had caught a Flaffy, apparently I was completely wrong, uh, but that's fine, it's not, it's not that big a deal when you're wrong, Bakas are wrong all the time, everybody, just remember that in life, whenever you're having trouble and you're like, I think I'm wrong, like, you know what, Bakas are wrong 99.9% of the time, the only time that we're actually right is when it's an accident, so, so yeah, just don't, don't worry about it, alright, so let's look around then, oh, here's a Furrow over, or Firo, sorry, Anything, Firo, oh, you're level 32, I'll take, or 33, wow, I'll take that, there we go, oh, hoo-hoo, okay, oh, and apparently he's evolving instantly to a Flaffy, Pokedabs, I, I'm amazed right now how quickly we're able to get new Pokemon in Generation 2, like, these Pokemon just, it, it, everything's going right for us, I think it's because, obviously, we had the XP share and some level 100s with us, and a really good knowledge of the different Pokemon out there to grab from Gen 2, I've been studying, I've been preparing, I mean, to be fair, I finished up the Gen 1 Pokedex literally like three weeks ago, so I had nothing but time to, to really think about things and prepare for, you know, getting to this point. But still, I mean, it's kind of impressive, I think. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run back over to the desert, because I'm pretty sure the desert has mostly higher level Pokemon, like in their level 40s sometimes. And apparently, even though the Extreme Hills normally has that, it's just apparently not today they don't. I, I don't know. Apparently it's no level 40s day in, the, in, the, in that biome. Whoa, get out of here, Sunflora! Uh, yes, please. The reason we want this one so bad, obviously, is because we have the, uh, the one before it, Sun Kern, but in order to get a Sun Flora, you normally need a Sun Stone. So, if we catch this, we literally save ourselves the use of one whole... It's like, it's basically like finding a random Blossom walking around. So, this basically saves us from using one Sun Stone, which, uh, now we can just use it on Blossom if we ever get our hands on one, because there are... Fairly rare. I think they're a boss drop only. Uh, I gotta kind of hope that someone on the server has one, but Pokedabs, there we go. We just caught a Sunflora. L literally another one. Another one. If that doesn't mean you should click the like button, then I don't know what it does because this has been a crazy fun episode. I'm just getting some new Pokemon. Like, I I'm excited. And by the way, everybody, by the time this goes live, I'm gonna have a few hours where I'm at the pack live event before I can record my next video for tonight. Uh, it'll be later on tonight. And I'm just wondering right now, should I do a second Pixelmon on Island later or something else? So let me know in the comment section, Pixelmon Island again or something else. I'm leaning towards doing another Pixelmon Island because it is my favorite series in the world and I know we got we were deprived of one yesterday we all were just just don't worry like i i was upset by the fact that i couldn't live stream as i'm sure you guys were that i couldn't so so just just yeah i don't know I, i'd love to do another pixel island i i do love this series way too much um and 
Oh, only level 20s. No fair. I, th I was hoping that trainer would be like in their 40s, and I was like, all right, GG. Looks like we'll be able to get an Ampharos pretty easy. Well, that's a giant gold duck over there. Oh, there we go. Look at that. I know technically that Grand Bull is probably not supposed to be in the desert. I think this is technically the plains biome. But, oh, what? 33. What is it with no 40s day? It's either it's supposed to be usually level like 40-ish. All right, slash P heal. There we go. Let's go up top here and look around, see if we can find anything really special. And Firo, level 28, no thank you. We're out here hunting for higher levels. 32, ah, oh, come on! Why couldn't you be in the, at least the upper 30s, man? Doug Trio, what are you doing to me? What are you doing? But but in all honesty, I'm still kind of amazed right now. We've caught like seven new Pokemon. I I literally, I, I was nervous, I'm not going to lie. I was like, what if, what if I'm only doing a video and I live stream and I barely catch any Pokemon because they're so short, the episodes, you know, compared to our live streams, any which are like two hours long. But then I'm like, yeah, you know what, we'll, we'll make it work. And then lo and behold, it just kind of does. We just start catching Pokemon left and right. All right, Dunk Trio, get over here. Boom, Shakalaka. All right, Outrage, knocked him out of there. Come on, Flaffy. You're like you're like the crowd favorite. Everyone wants Ampharos. Everyone's been asking for Ampharos. I, I've wanted Ampharos since as soon as Gen 2 came out. So, oh, here we go. Level 27. Oh, and I just realized also this is definitely helping the remainder on our orb. Yeah, only 39 KOs left. Oh, my gosh. So, we might be able to get a Zapdos on our next live stream as well. So, next episode should be a very exciting one, especially if we're able to get that Zapdos. But, there we go. Oh, my gosh. Oh my gosh, Don and I, calm down! He just literally kept trucking through him because I used Outrage, and he doesn't stop using Outrage ever. I was like, why am I not choosing an attack? And I'm like, oh yeah, it's because I'm currently in Outrage, and apparently that means my Dragonite is so angry he doesn't listen to any move changes. He just constantly beats people up. It's like, okay, you gotta you got, you got work on that anger a little bit there, Don and I. I'm sorry, bud, but it's a little much, don't you think? All right, let's see, is that... No, no one new over here. For some reason, I keep mixing and matching Gen 3 with Gen 2. So I went over there, and for a second, I thought the flying type I'm like, oh, what if it's a Pelipper or a Wingle? And I'm like, that's Gen 3. Oh. And they're not going to release that for a short time, I'm positive of, because, you know, Gen 2 was big enough for them to already release, but then the rest of them as well. It's 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 probably going to be one of those time-consuming things we're just going to have to be very, very, very patient for. Uh, but it'll get here eventually. Oh, level 27. Okay, that'll be decent to... Uh, destroy thank you my good sir and look a wild dunsparce as well which we caught by using rock smash i didn't realize all these pokemon we were rock smashing on could also be caught just by just randomness in the desert but apparently that's a thing that's kind of sad i i thought we were super special for it and oh there we go getting a fight with this slow bro here boom shakalaka good kill don tonight good kill buddy and another one boom another one all right, so I think, I think, now once again, I could be wrong with this, but I think Flaffy comes at level, or sorry, Ampharos comes at level 30. If not, it's in the very, very, very low 30s, so we should be getting relatively close to it. All right, here we go. Hyper Beam, knocked him clean out, and then, oh, Magneton, hello, Hyper Beam to you too. Oh, come on, he survived that. Okay, let's let's just throw out Serial Dad, then we'll just use Psychic on all these guys. That way we don't have to recharge our Hyper Beam. There we go, knock him out. Come on, give us a couple levels here and there. Yes, level 29, he's getting there. Psychic again, and no, was not the one, apparently. Was not the one indeed. Okay, well, let's keep going then. Let's keep going. Oh my god, I can't believe, it's so hard to believe, like, right now, I'm recording from Anaheim, and I'm like, in about 24 hours, I'm gonna be back home across the country in New Jersey, and I'm probably gonna be able to live stream, you know, I, just, I, I, I don't know, it's mind-blowing, I'm gonna do a special day tomorrow, probably, though, and oh my gosh, level 54 Macargo, well, that's gonna be the levels we need for Flaffy, Pokedabs, what a great episode, for Alligator, Typhlosion, Ampharos, and a bunch of other fun ones, like, that's super cool. And by the way, everybody, let me know what you think about this team. I met a fan at the Pack Live event. I screenshotted the uh, the Pokemon that he recommended for me, but he sent me a list of Gen 2 Pokemon for our team, and he suggested Kingdra, Tyranitar, Ampharos, Espeon, Skarmory, and Typhlosion. 
for our team. I think it sounds like a fantastic team, but I definitely want to know what you all think out there, because obviously the viewers, you know, your vote matters as much as mine does, so let me know what you think about that team. I think that that person picked out a wonderful team, but uh, once again, it was a random fan of the Pack Live event, super nice person, and I, I really appreciate them giving us that kind of a hand there, and oh, look at this, the Ampharos. Oh, he's so cute. There we go. I can't wait till we actually get our real Ampharos as well. And now, what other Pokemon can we evolve super quick? We've got we've got a lot of them already. One Pokemon I haven't found at all yet actually is a Meryl. I just realized that. Completely random. I was like, you know what? I don't think I've caught a single Meryl. This is interesting. All right, are there any other Pokemon that we can actually evolve at the moment? Or did we... I mean, we can try and go for a Tyranitar, but that's going to take a while. I'd rather do that maybe next episode. Let's see. Any other Gen 2 ones that we have... At the moment, it doesn't look like we have too many others. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go slash home to our fake home way off over here. And I'm going to look around. Hopefully, we can find a new Pokemon quickly here. Uh, it would be nice to end it off on catching one more. But uh, even if we don't actually grab another Pokemon, that's fine too. I'm just I'm just happy doing what I'm doing. Okay. Why, why am I lagging? What's going on? I'm lagging a bunch. Stop it. Stop it. What? Okay, am I done? Am I done lagging? That was the weirdest thing. I just kept getting sent. I, I just got sent back again. What? Slash home. Gosh dang it. I hate. Don't you hate when Minecraft does this? Sometimes it'll pull you back to where you were just repeatedly over and over again. Just kind of glitches up. Oh man. Well, either way, everybody, I think this is most likely a safe place to end this episode off. But I want to thank you all so much for tuning into this episode. I really hope you guys enjoyed this special one. And we'll see you all either later tonight for a second one of these or tomorrow with a live stream of Pixelmon Island. Take care, my friends.